Hey there, it's Nick at Field and Forest Products. Question for you, are you looking to surf the DIY wave to making your own ready to fruit mushroom blocks? Look no further. Now remember, we do sell these eight block sets. So if you're interested in getting some blocks heading your way for a quick harvest, go ahead and head over to our website. But if you're looking for a low tech starting point to make your own where you can see the process from A to Z, follow along. For an eight block set, here's the recipe that you will need to get started. First, 40 cups of hardwood fuel pellets, four cups of food grade bran, eight filter patch bags, and one four pound bag of lion's mane millet spawn. You will also need 40 cups of boiling water. Per block that translates to five cups of pellets, half cup of bran, one filter patch bag, and a cup and a half of lion's mane millet spawn. Let's get started. So first you open up the bag and you take your five cups of hardwood fuel pellets. Go ahead, dump that in the bag. There we go. Half cup food grade bran. We use wheat bran. Dump that in there. Go ahead. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mix it up. Fold over the bag. Give it some taps from the bottom there. After that's nice and mixed, you've got your boiling water. And be careful with this. It's five cups of boiling water. All right. Once you've added your boiling water, you're going to want to fold the bag over. And it doesn't hurt to shake up the bag a little bit if you can. And I mean really shake it up. It's hot. Fold your bag over. You're going to want to let this cool for about eight hours. And once the bag is cool, we'll inoculate with our cup and a half of millet spawn, mix that up, and there you have it. Hi, welcome back. And look, our block is nice and cool after yesterday's boiling water. <clears throat> now, next step is inoculating. And what you're going to want is you're going to need this bag of millet spawn that we provide here. And one thing you'll notice about this block is it's not a pure white brick like you might expect. It's very, the mycelium is very thin, very feathery. However, that don't hesitate, it's still perfectly good to use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a cup and a half of this here spawn. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that before you do this, you should probably either wear gloves if you have them or give your hands a nice thorough washing. We're all used to that these days. So you're gonna want a cup and a half of your millet spawn. Go ahead and pour it in, your, in the measuring cup. And then you're going to take that and you're going to pour it right into your bag that you prepared yesterday. Now comes the work. Fold that bag over and give it a nice, good shaking. Looking to really evenly distribute that millet in here. There we go. Once you've shaken the bag and you feel the millet is evenly distributed, you're gonna to want to prepare the bag for the incubation stage. Try and get as much air out of it as you can to start. Roll it just a little bit. You want the filter patch to still be exposed for gas exchange. Take a couple clothespins and leave that to sit for about two weeks. After about 20 days, you'll notice the block will start to look like this. Notice some feathery white mycelium growing all over the block. That's a sign that it's ready to begin growth. So what you'll do is you'll take a box cutter, razor knife, anything, and just mark the bag with X's in various locations. For optimal growth, you'll want to place this block in an environment where you can control the humidity, or at least in a place that has high humidity. And in, to do this, you can do something as easy as have a plant mister where you just mist the block on a daily basis to make sure the moisture level is, is high. After you cut your X's in the block, 
Expect to see some pinning and some fruiting bodies start to appear in about 10 days. This is the result of one month of work start to finish. You can expect multiple fruitings on something like this. However, because it was not done on sterilized sawdust, it is more vulnerable to contamination. Even if the yield is slightly lower than what you can expect from a sterilized substrate, this is a great place to learn and start with making your own blocks and seeing how it works.